Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will explain the effect that lenses have on light, so let's do this. Our learning circuits for today are number one, I can explain the effect that lenses have on light, and number two, I can describe and explain the possible technological applications of lenses. The tiny object on this man's finger is life changing for him. It lets him see clearly without wearing glasses. You probably recognize the object as a contact lens. You may even wear contact lenses yourself. So that brings us to our next question What is a lens? A lens is a transparent object with one or two curved surfaces. It is typically made of glass or clear plastic in the case of a contact lens. A lens refracts or bends light and forms an image. An image is a copy of an object formed by the refraction or reflection of visible light. The more curved the surface of a lens is, the more it refracts the light that passes through it. There are two basic types of lenses, concave and convex. The two types of lenses have different shapes so they bend light and form images in different ways. Let's talk about concave lenses first. Quick check for understanding. What is a lens and what does it do? Pause the video and take two minutes to answer. You've got this. A concave lens is thicker at the edges than it is in the middle. You can see the shape of a concave lens in the following diagram. From the diagram, it's clear that the lens causes rays of light to diverge or spread apart as they pass through it. Note that the image formed by a concave lens is on the same side of the lens as the object. It is also smaller than the object and right side up. However, it isn't a real image, it is a virtual image. Your brain tricks you into seeing an image there. The light rays actually pass through the glass to the other side and spread out in all directions. Now let's take a look at convex lenses. A convex lens is thicker in the middle than at the edges. You can see the shape of a convex lens in the following diagram. A convex lens causes rays of light to converge or meet at a point called the focus. A convex lens forms either a real or virtual image. It depends on how close the object is to the lens relative to the focus. If the object is closer to the lens than the focus is, a virtual image forms on the same side of the lens as the object. The image is right side up and enlarged. If the object is farther from the lens than the focus is, a real image forms on the side of the lens opposite to the object and the image is upside down. The image may be smaller, larger, or the same size as the object depending on the object's distance from the lens. The farther away the object is, the more reduced or small the image is. Now let's talk about some of the lens's technological applications. Lenses are used to focus light. Because focusing light is so important, you can find lenses in many places. Perhaps the most common lens that we see are the ones in people's glasses or in their contacts. Lenses are used in various imaging devices like telescopes, binoculars, and cameras. They are also used as visual aids in glasses to correct defects of vision such as myopia and hypermetropia. They are used in telescopes to help view items that are far away and are used in microscopes to help view very small items. When a light wave moves from one medium, like air, to another medium, like glass, the light rays are bent. This is called refraction. By using refraction, lenses can bend multiple light rays. There are so many uses of lenses and technology and the list keeps growing. In summary, a lens is a transparent object typically made of glass with one or two curved surfaces. A lens refracts light and forms an image. A concave lens is thicker at the edges than it is in the middle. This causes rays of light to diverge. The light forms a virtual image that is right side up and smaller than the object. A convex lens is thicker in the middle than it is at the edges. This causes rays of light to converge. The light forms a real or virtual image depending on the distance of the object from the lens. And that's our video for today. Now let's test you now to see how proficient you are with explaining the effect that lenses have on light and their possible technological applications by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are high for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more for our awesome content and material. 
Peace and have a positive, productive day.